Hey guys, I Dr. Naka here, and uh, I'm bringing you an unboxing. This is an unboxing of, well, of the title says it, it's the new iPhone 5. And uh, yeah, I might as well just get this started. And I can kind of only get one take at this, being it, it's my first unboxing, so I'm kind of nervous. But I only get one take, because you can only open a box once. And all snap, Yark, she blows. Um, if you can't tell by the box, I got the white model of the iPhone 5 right there. You can see pretty uh, pretty snazzy iPhone packaging. You know, the normal um, iPhone 5 on the side, Apple, Apple, iPhone 5. And then the side where it shows a little model of the phone. Here is um, all the information. I got the iPhone 5, the white one. And it should say at t somewhere. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say that it says it somewhere. So. Here it is. Let's let's do it. Oh man. So, I uh, I was actually supposed to do this video a lot earlier during the day, but UPS, being the wonder of people that they are there, they uh, messed up my order, and they did not ship it to me. So I had to go to the actual UPS. It was like a warehouse, and uh, I had to wait in line, and I had to get it. So. Plastic right there. Go ahead and throw that away. And let's lift up the box. And here it is. The iPhone 5 in all of its majestic aluminium glory. Alright, um, let's put this aside real quick. And let's keep looking through what's new. Because we do have uh, some new goodies in here. Uh, right here. You have all of your documentation, you know, the whole welcome to Apple package here open. There you go. Oh, wait, the most important part of any Apple product. Where are they? The stickers. There they are. Get a set of stickers. Put that right there. And, of course, you get Apple info. And just in case you didn't know how to use a cell phone, here's the hello guide for the iPhone. So let's uh, get all this. Let's talk all together and put it back in this little sleevey. In without having to look stupid, which I don't think we can, so let's put it aside. Okay, so there's that. Here's, of course, your power brick that you get with, you've gotten with any iPhone in the past. It's been like, I think it's since the 3G. Yeah, so there's that. Nothing new there. Here's something new, though. Here is the new, uh, I think it's the EarPod headphones. They have that, uh, I can get these open. Let's see how do you open these? This little slap, I guess. Slide these out. Put this right here. Comes with like a little travel case, I guess. Pop these open, and you can see the new design on them. It uh, it's supposed to adhere. It's supposed to like fit better in your head, in, inside your ears, and stuff like that. Apparently, Apple like went through like three years of research, making sure that they found uh, the most comfortable fit for people's ears. Um, it's supposed to be better quality. <clears throat> they said at the keynote that this matches up with headphones that cost upwards of two hundred dollars, but. I highly doubt that $30 headphones can match up with that. So let's put those right there. And the new thing that you get right here is the new lightning connector. So you can see right there, um, it is the brand new lightning connector. It is, it's all digital now, supposedly. Um, don't really know what that's. Come on, let's just autofocus if you can. Come on, autofocus. You can do this. You're a champion. I'm not doing it right now. Oh, yeah, but it's the new 30, uh, 8 pin, actually. It's only 8 pins in here connector all digital the uh, same as before it's not usb 3.0 it's still usb 2.0 so nothing really too fancy there okay so now that we have all this let's go ahead and get all the paper that we got put it to the side because right now is the star of the show oh man right here um all right i guess i'll just start running down the stats on this bad boy you have a four inch display on here it's the new it's uh, still the retina display it's a new four inch with a resolution of 640 by 1136 with 321 ppi and uh, a new ratio of 6 by 9 so when you're watching your hd videos and landscape like this there's not going to be any border up here it's going to be it's going to take up all the screen real estate uh apple says it has better color saturation but i guess we're going to have to wait to see that um keep looking around as you can see here you got the same buttons on the side right here you have the 
you know, the vibrate switch right here, the volume up and down, you have the unlock button, a uh, lock and unlock power on button. But you notice here that the headphone jack isn't here anymore because it's been moved. Boom. Right there at the bottom. Um, not too sure how I feel about the headphone jack at the bottom just because I'm so used to it being at the top and I've gotten kind of used to the conveniency of that. But uh, I guess I'll just get used to it with time. Here's the new lightning connector, um, new speakers. Supposedly they're uh, smaller yet better, so I'll have to see how that goes. There's the connection to put, uh, it's a new nano sim, it's not a micro sim anymore. Um, all right, and here's the new aluminum design in the back. Here's the 8 megapixel camera. On the back, it's the new EyeSight camera with LED flash. It uses the same camera as the iPhone 4S, except it has a, it has the new crystal uh, lens cover on it. It shoots 1080p video with LED flash, of course, like I said. And it performs better in low lights now, so that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, in the front, you have the front-facing camera, which is no longer right here on the side. I don't know what that is, but that's not a camera. That's the camera right there. Um, it now shoots 1080, uh, not 1080, wow. It shoots 720p video, so you get better FaceTime and all that stuff. Um, the back is made of anat Ugh. It's made of aluminum. <laughs> And uh, it has glass, and the front is all glass, of course. And uh, it, it's supposedly Gorilla Glass 3, so that, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, because it means it's more durable, and it won't just like whoop, explode and crack on you. Because I've had that happen to me once before, and it is, uh, it's not fun at all. So uh, let's get the boxes real quick, so we can do a quick size comparison between everything. So here is... Oops, I almost took the plastic off. Here is the iPhone, and I'll start powering that on. We wait. Apple logo. So here is the iPhone 5. And let's bring in what was my current phone, the iPhone 4. And first iPhone that I got, just so people coming over from the 3GS can kind of get a reference of it. Here is the iPhone 3G since the 3GS, but basically the same thing. So size comparison between the iPhone 4 and the 5. You can see that it is definitely a tad bit bigger. Honestly, it's just literally this piece of a uh, of glass up is all that is new, so it's not too much. Um, it is thinner though. You can see I'm right there. You can kind of get it right there. It is definitely a little thinner. Um, not a lot though. Just a little tiny bit thinner. It's not wider by any. It's not wider at all. It kept it the same width. And compared to the iPhone 3G. It just kind of looks like a turtle, I guess. Yeah, definitely, it just looks like a turtle. Um, all together, make a big old douchey iPhone sandwich. There you go. Mm. Generations down. So this has been the iPhone 5 unboxing of the white model. And stay tuned because I'm going to make more videos showing off the LTE and um, other different nuances of iOS 6 on the iPhone. Let's make sure, oh, there it is. It a little nuances. Oh, look at that. 4G right at the top. Boom. Because they couldn't do that one year ago. Well, this has been the unboxing for the new iPhone 5. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, tell me if you like this kind of stuff. I'll keep doing it. I definitely love doing tech unboxings. It's uh, one, of my, one of my pastimes, I guess. I love just the feel of the new tech. So yeah, tell me if you guys like this, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.